Our staff has done a, an unbelievable job of, of, of developing those relationships, and that's why um, we have 24 unbelievable young men that are going to be joining us. North Dakota State with another successful early signing day despite the challenges COVID-19 has inflicted on the process. Head coach Matt N said they had a process and a plan that centered around people and relationships, and he feels it served them well. We were going to make sure we emphasized our footprint, the region that, that we've been successful in um, for years, and I think you see 21 of the 24 young men fall within that footprint. A breakdown of those 24 by state in all 11 different states make up the class of six with six from North Dakota and another five from Minnesota. The Bison collecting one each from Illinois, Kansas, Georgia, Florida, one from Frisco, Texas, and another from Nebraska as well. That Nebraska pick is a big time left handed quarterback in Cole Payton. The 6'2, 218 pounder earned some big attention as the Power Five schools came calling after an impressive performance in his high school state championship game this fall. But Payton told them all he couldn't be more excited to be a bison. Peyton will likely quickly become good friends with wide receiver Bryce Lance. Yes, like Trey Lance, Bryce holds nearly every receiving record at Marshall High School with a bunch of offers from all over the FCS and the Ivy League. He signed with the bison and adds some great depth and height to Noah Polly's crew. Six North Dakotans have signed with the bison today, including Fargo South Enoch Sibomana here, Cheyenne's Barika Penu, Cole Menz, and Davies Truman Wormeyer, along with Bismarck's Jack Steckler and Mandan's Jackson Jackson Dutton Heifer. An uh, outstanding class. Coach Enns, awfully excited about this group. Mike, we're going to take a little bit of a deeper look at them tonight at 10, as well as a huge class from UND football as well, including Trey, uh, Trey Feeney, former Bison quarterback. It's a recognizable last name. He's in the wrong color green, but I think he'll do just fine up there. All right. Thanks, Beth.